Hey folks, welcome to Benedetto headquarters here in sunny Savannah, Georgia. As many of you know, it is our 50th anniversary, and we are here uh, with the one and only Pat Martino, the luminary of jazz. Um, we're pretty excited to have you in here, Pat. Um, if you don't mind just playing a little bit while some people gather up to watch, we'll let you have at it. For those of you watching, we have quite an audience uh, put together already. Um, Pat is playing one of our Bob's Boutique Pat Martino models in Walnut. Um, great guitar. Great guitar. We're straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Can't go, go wrong with that. Um, uh, we have three Pat Martino models in stock, which is sort of rare. Um, and it turns out one in all three colors. Originally, we only offered it in black and autumn burst because those were your picks for colors. Um, and then you ordered one in a custom walnut finish, so now we do one-offs in that color also. Um, well, welcome to Savannah. Um, Thank you. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout-out to... Um, Rob Gibson and his team at Savannah Music Festival for producing this concert. It's uh, pretty cool to celebrate 50 years, um, which I believe you are also selling 50 years of re celebrating 50 years of recording at this point, yes. right? In fact, over 50 years. Right, right. Yeah. You, be you beat us by a couple, I guess. You, yeah. When when did your first record come out? 1960, 1962, maybe. Okay. Oh, so 55 even. Yeah. 50, Six. 56. Yeah. Nice. Um, well, I think everyone here, at least of the guitar players in the room, um, considers you a big influence, so thank you for that. So nice. um, you're here in Savannah for the 50th anniversary concert. Can you tell me a little bit about your band? Yes, the, the band is a quintet. Some great, great players. Uh, on organ is Pat Bianchi, and the drummer is Carmen Intori. Uh, Adam Nywood is, is on tenor saxophone, and Alex Norris is on trumpet and flugelhorn. Oh, very cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of guitar, trumpet, and tenor. That's like oh, that's great. a lot of really nice sounds to, to get together. Um, you're also doing um, a lunchtime concert at the Morris Center tomorrow, in yes, addition you know. to the 50th. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's going to be cool. That's one of my favorite venues. Um, yeah, I heard you say that yeah. before. That's great. I'm looking forward. Yeah, and then the Lucas, you can't go wrong with that, a historical theater yeah. here in Savannah. Um, while you're in, in town, um, I'm noticing things are starting to come in here. If Just an aside, if you guys have questions, um, get them up. We don't have a ton of time here, so I might not get to everything, but if you have questions for that, um, please go ahead and put them in the comments section. Um you also have a new record out. Yes. Is this also with the same quintet? With the same quintet. The album is called Formidable. Great. I listened to a little bit of it this morning, and it's, it's burning. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very cool. There's um, some cool video out there of you guys recording it. It looked yeah. like it was a very relaxed, fun session. That was fabulous. Yeah. Where did you record it? We recorded that in northern Jersey. Uh, at a, I forget, forget the name of the place. Jenkland. Jenkins, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, a few famous records have come out of northern New Jersey, as it turns yeah. out. <laughs> kind of a, an important place up there. Uh, we, have a, we have a question about what kind of strings you use. Yeah. We were just discussing. I, I use uh, GHS. And the gauges, I use two different sets of gauges. Uh, the, lightest, the lightest set is 15, 17, um, 20s. 24, 32, 42, 52. And the heavier set is 16, 18, 26, 36, 48, 58. Great. And, and just so everybody knows, this is Howard Paul off camera, but we, um, when we string up these guitars, we're, we don't, we have Benedetto strings, of course. Sure. But we get custom flat wound gauges. Yeah. Made to match what you're normally cool. playing, and those are that's what comes with the guitars well, as an option. Is, yeah. And then people can buy the 15s uh, uh, directly from us, I think, if they mm -hmm. want the Benedetto version of yeah. those. Yeah, it feels great. Um, so d tell us a little bit about the, the guitar. Um, obviously, you guys have been in collaboration, you and Howard and Bob got together what? Five six years ago with this instrument, yeah, maybe even cool. longer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, that's that's incredible. Um, um, what can I say about the guitar? Gosh, you know, um, for me, you know, it's different for every guitarist. Uh, for me, the most important thing about a great instrument is its neutrality. It doesn't influence the player. In fact, it very much takes the shape of like when you pour water into a different glass. It takes the shape of that glass. Right. And that's what Benedetto does for me. Under any conditions, the guitar is just, it's neutral. And it's a beautiful, beautiful tool. It's like my favorite brush as a painter. Right. Uh, I, I love the neutrality of the instrument. Of course, it, its body, the, the elements that it's prepared with, are top shelf. There's nothing out there that compares with it, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what to say about it. It's it's my favorite toy. All right. <laughs> I, th I think there's a few players out there that might agree with you. Um, let's see. No more questions coming in over here. Um, that's interesting that you, you, you bring that up. Uh, just a few minutes ago, Chico Panero was in here, and he and I were talking about how um, there are some players that that um, that totally transcend their their instruments, um, and I think it's it's goes without saying that I can I can identify a, a Pat Martino on the radio or in a record in in a matter of notes. It's it's only this this long before I know exactly who I'm listening to. That's great. Um, and I hope the instrument is is helping you get there some. Uh, which, besides the 50th anniversary concert, what shows do you have coming up? Well, um, when I finish the, the performance here, I'll be opening on the 31st in Philadelphia at Chris's. Okay. And then I have a week off, um, and April the 5th, I, I depart for a European tour. And I'll be in Europe until uh, approximately the 25th of April. I get back to the States um, and I have five or six days off and then I, I'll open in Beijing. Oh great. I'll be in Beijing and then 
from Beijing, I go to Tokyo, back to Tokyo. Okay, okay great. So there are many, many things coming up. So the European tours is something like uh, eight or nine cities in Europe. Throughout. Gotcha, fantastic. What's, what's your favorite part about being in Europe? You know, it's a funny thing. Where, wherever I am, it's here and now. So it really makes no difference. I, I pay more attention to the moment than I do to the surroundings of it. That sounds a lot like a jazz musician. <laughs> That's probably what makes you so great at what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, I, I've read books and I spend a lot of my own practice time trying to get to that place of always being present. Yes. Um, and it sounds like you may have mastered it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Um, while we wait for a, a few questions to come in, do you maybe want to play another little tune? Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I can't think of anything better than sitting in here in a room alone <laughs> with you and a couple of people hearing a tune. Uh, so that's basically me being selfish. Oh, we'd appreciate it. chord ringing is something. Um, someone asked about your amp setup. What, what do you like to use? I've been using um, uh, acoustic image. Um, the amp is just fabulous. It weighs six pounds. It's just a free amp. Right. Power, it's a, actually, it's a power amp. Right. And uh, the speaker cabinets that I use are on the contracts for all the different performances. And the the uh, the brand is uh, either Mesa Boogie or yeah, it's, it's normally a Mesa Boogie, yeah. and I can't always get them. So when it is, I, I wind up with a Marshall. Right. I I, I was four twelve. So. Yeah, I've seen pictures of you playing through a Marshall, and it always yeah. it's I always give a little snicker. It's kind of funny that it, the the consummate jazz performer is using a Marshall stack <laughs> with a with a teeny little amp on top. <laughs> it's, it, no, it's great though. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, it's great. It's it's like six hundred watts. Yeah, right. They're they're serious. They they pack a lot of punch. Um, uh, Rob Reeder would like to know if you have any plans on playing in Florida this year. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. All right. Yeah. Not that but you he... never could tell. Right. You know, last minute calls, Definitely they have the early part of next year. Definitely in the early part of next year, says uh, manager. Uh, Joe, right? Yes. Got it. Yes. Joe knows these details. Um, John Calabrese Jr. says hello. Yes. Yes. John, all my love. Let's see. Um, well, unless anybody has any last questions, um, 
I gotta say thank you so much for coming in, Pat, and thank mm -hmm. you for coming to uh, to Savannah, and thank you for playing Benedetto guitars. This is uh, um, it's meaningful to all of us because you're one of one of the, if not the most important figure in jazz guitar, and um, one of the most accomplished musicians in jazz. So we so appreciate much. having you here. Um, do you mind playing one more? Uh, I would rather not. Oh, all right. <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks, guys. We appreciate you coming by. Thank you. Thank you so much.